How to control the unit. The encoders will let you change settings in a blink, while the color display lets you configure the whole unit in every detail completely independent from a computer. And that simply means that the Fireface UFX is the perfect standalone unit, as any feature included can be used in standalone mode and edited in standalone mode easily. The default screen shows level meters for all 30 inputs, all 30 outputs, plus the FX send and return stereo channels. Turning the volume knob changes to the volume screen. The volume knob controls the output level of the stereo channels which had been defined as main out. This can be any output, even two channels of ADAT. The default is analog 1 2, the XLR outputs on the back. To adjust the headphone volume, just push the volume knob one time. The screen changes from main out to phones 9 10. Now turning the knob adjusts the phone's volume. Another push lets you adjust the volume level of the second phone's output, phones 11 12. Turning the small encoders 1 and 2 lets you adjust balance and the FX return, the echo and reverb signal. To quickly adjust the microphone gains, hit the mic gain button and turn encoder 1 or 2 or hit the button a second time to adjust the other two microphone inputs. All the channel's parameters and functions will be available by a click on the channel button. Turn encoder 1 to select the input or output channel that you want to edit. Turn encoder 2 to change the function within the channel. Available are settings, Low cut, parametric EQ, compressor expander, and auto level. All parameters and values are exactly the same as in the Total Mix FX software. By pushing encoder 1 and 2, the cursor moves up and down respectively, sliding vertically through the menu. The cursor keeps its position when changing to a different channel. If you want to quickly adjust all analog inputs to the same reference level, Set one channel as desired, then turn encoder 1 to change to the next channel, turn encoder 2 to set the correct value, turn encoder 1 again and so on. The key setup ref gives access to the unit settings and the internal memory. Now the UFX can store its configuration into six memories. The unit remembers its last state, but also can change its state by loading one of the six setups from memory. Perfect for standalone operation. Note the cursor is now set to adjust the delay time of the echo. The menu remembers all the last states for a very comfortable and especially a quick operation. Changing to microphone gain and adjusting a gain will not make channel lose its last cursor position, which was the input level. And going back to setup ref brings up the delay time again. Finally, options brings up settings for control room, clocking and hardware diagnosis. As said before, all settings available at the computer can also be set directly within the unit.